AI has gotten good. Like, really good. It's called AI will replace a lot of jobs that we're used to these days. You can literally write an entire short story with one sentence. Or make a completely AI generated that version of an actual person and TikTok. make them say whatever you, you want. Windows. What you see is yeah, not real. Well, at yeah. least in contemporary terms, it is not. In most prevalent in game development, you can have lines and lines of code written for you with just a couple sentences. ChatGPT is taking over the world. ChatGPT is the ability to write So I think that AI is going to be a rough year for game developers. This all begs one big question. The relief of a chatbot seems to have shaken up the world on many is levels. Everywhere. Is AI real? Run! Yes. Let me explain. Take one look at YouTube and the answer is clear as day. Everywhere you look, game developers are creating games solely from AI. I mean, a game developer YouTuber I know, we spend have literally made a game using only AI. Seven days in a row. Everything you need to make a game can be done by an AI. And it's scary. Let's start off with the biggest one. Programming. By using ChatGPT and entering only a few sentences describing what you want coded and for which game engine the code should be written in, you can get near flawless code within seconds. But it doesn't stop there. Let's say the code doesn't work. Well, that's no issue for this AI. Just explain the error, because the AI will fix the code. I mean, how is this actually happening? With every piece of code it makes, it gives an explanation for it too. Even putting game development aside, with the release of ChatGPT 4, you can draw out your own website design on paper, take a picture of it, upload it to GPT 4, and it will turn whatever you drew on your notebook into a fully functioning site. It's all becoming a bit too real. Programming seems to be almost completely obsolete. It's writing me the code in front of your eyes right now. And why wouldn't it? This is telling me exactly what to do with the code that it just wrote me right now. Oh my god. A chatbot in only a few sentences can save you hours of work. But it doesn't just end in programming. Not in the slightest. No, the rabbit hole of AI goes so much deeper. I want you to take a look at this painting. It was created by an unknown artist in the 18th century and is regarded as one of the best pieces of artwork of all time. But you've probably already figured out that none of that is true. That's just the prompt I gave to an AI you've probably heard of. Dolly 2. If the programming aspect of AI wasn't scary, then surely this is. Concept art, actual character designs, anything to do with art goes from taking hours or even days of hard work by an artist to a short description of what you want drawn. A few seconds later, and you have just that. This literally means you can get an AI to generate an image for a player in a game. And then you can get an AI to code movement, abilities, and so much more. All in mere minutes. This is deeply unsettling. Am I living in a reality where I'll walk into stores with AI-designed art? Where I'll play games with AI-generated assets where the code's written by an AI? I'm starting to think I am. But let's go even further into the madness. Beyond what AI can do for game developers. Because AI is not only replacing game developers, no. It's replacing you. This right here is the pinnacle of fear. This isn't Tom Cruise, it's a deep fake. If everything else wasn't enough, now what you see, what you hear, it could all be fake. It's a bleak future to think about. Anything could be fake. The ultimate uh, gauge for all of time I believe it when I see it. Yeah. And now maybe a bit longer. A video of a world leader could just be a man in his basement. I am not Morgan Freeman. What you see is not real. Or an audio recording of someone talking. Nathan online, that's me. Wow, this is incredible. Could be anyone who paid $5 for an app. What is your perception of reality? Fake advertisements using deepfakes and popular figures have already started popping up. If you can see, hear, taste, or smell something. And although they aren't the best now, does that make it real? They will only get better. The future is here. The more I find out, I would like to welcome you to the era of synthetic reality. The more I become fearful. 
Because it's really starting to seem like whatever I do now can just be done better what? by a robot. Do you see? I'm going insane. Like nothing I do will ever matter. That society's creation is the one that will replace us. I look at a photo now and wonder, was this made by an AI? Was this YouTube video scripted by an AI? Was this game programmed by an AI? Everything innovative, everything created with care, everything creative. Is it all doomed to be replaced by a stupid robot? Should I just cut my losses while I'm at it? Cut the whole creativity thing and just give in? Give in and use AI for my gain? I just don't know anymore. Everybody seems to be hopping on this trend of incorporating AI into their workflows, using AI to make half their games. But something about it doesn't sit right with me. Actually, none of it. In fact, while writing the script, there was an option for an AI to finish the script for me. And it wrote the rest of the script, incorporating bullet points I had written beforehand perfectly in a matter of seconds. Trying to stop it is pointless. AI progression is inevitable. If not now, than later. But it's such a bleak future to think about. A world where AI makes our games. A world where AI makes our art. A world where AI maybe even makes our movies. A future where hundreds of jobs are replaced by an artificial intelligence. Even though things aren't this way now, we're already running out of time, running out of time, running out of time, running out of time. AI just gonna replace me anyways, then why even try to fight it? Why not just accept it while it's still a choice? Because that choice is going away soon. So, that's it. That's the end. The end of hope, the end of a bright future, and the end of creativity as we know it. I guess I'm living in the final chapter where things are meaningful. I'm living through the end, and the beginning of a dark world is right around the corner. Unless it isn't. Maybe I've been looking at it wrong this whole time. With all this commotion and fear, maybe I failed to look at AI at a deeper level. When I look at something handcrafted, there's something there that can't be found in these AI creations. And this whole time, I couldn't quite put my finger on it. But the answer has been clear all along. AI fails, and may always fail, to achieve that feeling. That feeling of passion, that feeling of life, that feeling of creativity. Artificial intelligence isn't replacing creativity. It's just another obstacle on the path of making something truly meaningful. It's a tool that can help and hurt us. And no matter how much it helps us, no matter how much it hurts us, it can never replace the inexpressible, raw heart and soul poured into work that makes it truly creative. Well, for now. Creativity has gotten good. Like, really good.